How the Grinch Stole Christmas Backwards is about a fuzzy green warlord who has for years collected tribute from the townspeople of Whoville. He has a literal change of heart though, seconds before dumping the goodies off a cliff, when his chemotherapy takes hold and his heart cancer finally goes into remission. Filled with unbridled joy, he proceeds to beat the shit out of his dog as gravity carries his sleigh back down the mountain. He gets to work right away planting a festive tree right in the center of town and begins breaking into houses one by one. He starts with the smallest citizens, but this mouse clearly finds his shitty Grinch bread less than pleasing. For the most part though, he does a great job stocking people's fridges, replacing their lights, and unleashing an army of moonwalking toys to deliver joy to all or else. Now I'm not saying the Grinch has completely mended his old ways. He abducts Cindy Lou Who ass first and gives these kids candy canes that could easily be used to shiv each other when they wake up and start arguing over who gets Cindy's gifts. One last rate face and he's off to the next house, or he unrolls the most kick-ass carpet in the history of stuff. His self-aware tree ornaments get covered in gutter juice and start rolling around the floor. But in the end, he's slithering through a holiday display that would make Santa shit his imaginary pants. Satisfied, the Grinch returns to the peak of his mountain and strips naked. The dog turns back into a pile of snow, and all the Who's in Whoville have a kick-ass Christmas. In the year 735, a smallpox epidemic killed 30% of Japan. 735 is also the smallest prime number whose digits are also its distinct prime factors. Most importantly though, it's how many subscribers I would have if you clicked subscribe right now. Did you enjoy this video? It's something new I'm trying and I'd like to see your thoughts below. Have a happy end of the fiscal fourth quarter everybody.